Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, chapter 13, beginning at the 16th verse. After he had washed the feet of his disciples, Jesus said to them, I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master, no messenger is greater than the man who sent him. Now that you know this, happiness will be yours if you behave accordingly. I am not speaking about all of you. I know the ones I have chosen. But what scripture says must be fulfilled. Someone who shares my table rebels against me. I tell you this now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am he. I tell you most solemnly, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. You know, at the end of this morning's first reading in the lectionary, John the Baptist is quoting as, quoted as saying, I am not fit to undo his sandals. It was the task of a slave to undo the sandals of his master. John the Baptist is declaring that he is not worthy to perform the menial task of a slave for Jesus, because Jesus is so much greater than he is. And therefore, this morning's gospel begins with Jesus having just washed the feet of his disciples. This was also the task of a slave, to wash the feet of his master. John knew he wasn't worthy enough to serve Jesus, even as a slave. Yet Jesus served his disciples as a slave. Here was the Word made flesh, behaving as a slave towards his disciples. It was an extraordinary act of self-emptying and self-giving love. In anticipation, it anticipated his action of self-emptying and self-giving of the following day when he gave his life on the cross for all. It is that act of self-emptying on the cross that we celebrate in every Eucharist and that is present to us sacramentally. As St. Paul says, whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. In washing the feet of his disciples, in laying down his life for them and for all, what Paul calls the mind of Christ is revealed to us. Whenever we celebrate the Eucharist, we are celebrating the mind of Christ, and we are being asked to take on this mind of Christ more fully, so as to become more like Him. As Jesus says in our Gospel reading, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me. Jesus wants to come to others through each one of us.